goal of this particular video um, will be to help you figure out how to create a pedigree for a target organism, in this case, one of um, our cattle. So the first thing I, I want to remind you of is this new scientific word that we've introduced in the last few days, phenotype. So phenotype is just the way an individual looks for a specific trait. So for example, we've got these two cattle on our screen. We've got Gray Boy and we've got Xena. One of their phenotypes is their phenotype of sex. So either male or female. So Gray Boy has the male phenotype for sex and we're gonna represent that with a square. Xena has the female phenotype for sex and we're gonna represent that with a circle. The second phenotype we're gonna focus on in this particular activity is the phenotype of muscle type. So the muscle phenotype. So we know that there are three different muscle phenotypes. The first one is heavily muscled. Um, Jim up here in the upper left hand corner is has the heavily muscled phenotype. We know he's a male so we've already given him the symbol of a square and we're going to represent that heavily muscled male by filling in that black that square with black. So any heavily muscled individual is going to have their square or circle if they're female um, colored in black. The medium muscle, phenotype, we're going to use the color gray. So gray boy, we know is a, a male, so he has a square and he's got that medium muscle phenotype. So we're going to color his square in gray. And finally, um, the third phenotype for muscles is typical. So Xena up here in the upper right corner has the typical muscle phenotype. And we are going to represent that phenotype with the color white. So we are not going to fill her circle in with anything. So these are the, the ways that we are going to go ahead and symbolize the different phenotypes that we're focusing on when you create a, a pedigree chart. So here's what your pedigree chart is going to look like. Um, each line is a different generation. So this would be um, the youngest uh, individual would go in this first row, their parents would go in the second row, and each parent's parents, so the grandparents of this individual will go in that top row. Um, it's going to be really important uh, for any time we use a pedigree chart to uh, use symbols to represent phenotypes. So in this case, I'm going to have you focus on the, the sex phenotype and the muscle phenotype. So again, um, we're going to uh, fill in and say we're going to represent squares or males with squares, females or circles. Extra large is going to be that black color. Fill, it, fill in the, the square of the circle. Medium is going to be gray and the typical muscle phenotype is going to be white. So you are going to get a set of cards and um, each card or each set of cards is for a family. So this is family number one. So you're gonna go ahead and fill out where it says family number. You're gonna put, I'm gonna put one. And this is Rob's um, family. So I'm gonna go ahead and write Rob's pedigree. So this is the pedigree for Rob. Um, Rob is going to go again in this bottom box here. So I'm gonna put his name Rob and I have, given you um, the information for the, the phenotype of sex on the cattle cards. So when I look up here, I can see that Rob is a male. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the square in my um, first row here, representing Rob. What I have not given you for all of your cattle cards is the muscle types for each of the individuals. So you're going to have to go ahead and do some comparisons and decide which cattles, if any, have extra large muscles phenotypes, which, if any, have the medium phenotype for muscle size, and which, if any, have the typical phenotype for muscle size. So that's something that you're going to have to do. So I'm looking at Rob right now, and um, I think he has the medium muscle phenotype. So I'm going to go ahead and shade in uh, Rob's 
square um, with that gray. So I now know that Rob is both a male and has the medium phenotype. You will go ahead and uh, find the, or sort out the rest of your cards and you will figure out the parents' um, phenotypes for muscles and the grandparents' phenotypes for muscles. And you're gonna put all of that information into your pedigree chart. And once you're done with your pedigree chart, you will have each of these filled out with the appropriate symbols that represent both their uh, sex phenotype and their extra, or their muscle phenotype.